Hey guys! Alright folks, we're here today to check out a video that was requested by a good friend of ours. One of the guys in charge of Dark River Festival, his name is Henry Ariolas, and we're here to check out Heathen Hurt... Uh, hurts... Heathen Hearts... Uh, starve the Machine. Yes. First you rage against it, and then you starve it. That's kind of like how it goes in order to completely defeat said machine. Yeah. So he said that he's as excited about this band now as he was when he first discovered Mariana's Rest. And we all know the, the rise that that band has had since we've come in contact with them. Yeah. I'm putting it all on our shoulders. Well, they, would, they would not be as big as they are if it wasn't for us. For that matter, Dark River Festival to say. would not be as big as it is right now if it wasn't for us. Everything it was that the we touch... touch. Everything that we touch, you know, turns to gold or grows uh, exponentially. Uh, so, anyhow, uh, you ready for this? Yeah. Because he's hyping this shit. Yeah, I mean, if he's hyping this, I'm He never very steered intrigued. me wrong. He never steered me wrong. All right, so let's check this out. Heathen Hearts is the name of the band. They're from Finland. They're from Kotka, I believe. Ooh.
That was a very anticlimactic finish. I know, very abrupt. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let me just check something here on my phone. But go ahead. Give me your, uh, give me your five cents on, uh, on this on the band. Uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna start off with the start of the song. The song kind of started off like it was gonna hit me right away, uh, but it didn't. It it started off like that, but then it went into another build up. Um, but the song has a good feeling to it. It has a good vibe to it. I mean, it gives off that finished dna right but um that ending yeah w was pretty abrupt okay just i was just making sure here i had the, the right thing so, sorry about that that was not gripping uh video uh filming uh, youtube uh, content here but anyways just throwing words yeah just throwing words out there hoping that they stick so uh what did you say <laughs> i said <laughs> i said the start of the song it, it it started off like it was gonna it was building up to something but instead of hitting me with that build up it built up again, and um, I, it was kind of, it kind of threw me off a little bit. But the music itself was actually like I, I enjoyed it, the vibe of it. It gives off that Finnish feeling to it um, that I've heard many times before. But it's almost like melodic hardcore. Yeah, kind of, a little bit. It has some melodic death metal elements. It has some hardcore elements. It kind of it's kind of pregnant about either one of those. Yeah, like it doesn't kind of it, it doesn't tip the skill to one side or the other. It's yeah. Kind of, Walking a fine line in between somewhere. It does, it does. But it has a good vibe to it. It does have a good the vibe. The song has good melodies throughout the song. Just feels a little simple. It is pretty simple. And, it but, feels a little and simple. the way it ends kind of threw, you, threw me and you off because of how abrupt it is. Not like a long note to kind of like fade out or anything like that. I, I think just... what this song is missing, uh, f first of all, there, there's a sense of simplicity to it. Uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's not an overly long song, so it's not like it bores you because yeah. it's it's it, because of its simplicity. If it was really long, it would it would become kind of like uh, overly repetitive, and that would be boring. It's not the case, but it is simple, and it comes across uh, with its uh, own set of simplicity. What I think this song is really missing is in the chorus is missing some clean vocals. Either the clean vocals behind the harsh vocals as a layer, or the clean vocals up front with the harsh vocals behind it. As a layer, either way, that song really needed that because the chorus musically has a lot of melancholy in it, and the melancholy of the of the of the melody of the chorus doesn't match the vocal experience. The, the vocal the vocals are fine in the verses, the mood of the song, the movement of the song, the melody of this, everything that the song is offering musically in the verses, vocally you, you're getting the right the the right fit for it. But when it comes into the chorus, the song slightly slows down a little bit, becomes more melancholic, becomes more melodic. So if you want to keep those harsh vocals there, you can keep them there. But I think the way you 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 dissipate a little bit of that harshness and the way you you connect the vocals a little bit more with the sound experience that you're getting is by using some clean vocals, either behind the harsh vocals or in front of the harsh vocals. It, it doesn't honestly, it doesn't really matter which one you go with, as long as they're there, because I think they're that way you you tie in the song better musically to the vocal performance and then you still have the harsh, the harsh vocals there which then ties up the chorus to what the verses were giving you and the song feels a little bit more complete and it also feels a little bit more complex not as simple as it is now and as it comes across that is my take and that's i think how they should have approached this track i i fully agree oh you agree with me i fully agree yeah don't it would make just, the song better yeah i think it, but I for think this style what we what we both got out of it was this the the only thing pulling this song down other than that ending because that ending even the ending is too abrupt it's, I must it's say. too abrupt for a song like this and then the start i don't know if you're with me on that one just kind of it, it was redundant like it built up to another build-up there, there was no need for it but the end you know what it should have ended with the end some guitar feedback yeah, but like finishing the the, the, the feedback, note, the note, and, that, and then and just have the note, have the note play the, out, play out into the feedback into of the the feedback. Uh, the feedback of the guitar going going out exactly. like that. Exactly into like into oblivion, yeah. if you will. Yeah, that's how it because that would also match the kind of mood that the song was giving. That, that the song was it giving gave me kind of a raw feeling. Uh, the song gave me from that hardcore perspective that you were telling me, like it gives you that raw feeling. So that would add to it having yeah. that feedback, almost that end. live that live essence that essence yeah. to it. And instead of having the girl kind of blinking and whatever, or the person blinking, what what or whatnot, and then kind of like dropping, you could have that same vision of the person in the bed, and then the, maybe the 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 camera 
zo starts to zoom in, zooms, zooms in, zooms in, maybe into the person's eyes or into the person's mm -hmm. nose, mm -hmm. like something that uh, the eyes would be great. Uh, yeah. Zoom into the eyes and then suddenly the eyes open, or maybe they don't open at all, and you just allow that that sound to go to go with that with with that image, or they open and then you continue to travel through whatever the eyes. Will yeah. do. I mean, you can get creative. Um, but either way, I think the the abrupt end doesn't help the song at all. No, no, doesn't. That's just me. It's not a bad track. It's not a bad song. Um, There's just these nooks and crannies. Of but it, 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 yeah, it, it's it's very raw, not sound wise, but it's very raw and rudimentary in terms of how it's put together. Like, it, it uh, you you showcase that there are some nuggets there. You know, it's it's like that old story. Like you know, you have this huge stone and you're trying to sculpt. Uh, an elephant, right? So what you do, you take away the chips that don't look like an elephant. That, have you ever heard of that story? Yeah. Something along those lines, right? So this song is the same way. It's it's like this huge rock. You just have to chip away the pieces that don't belong to the song. And and I, f I feel like they chipped so many pieces that they ended up with a really skinny elephant. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of... It was more like a giraffe. They ended <laughs> yeah. up with a giraffe. So, uh, so th th there is... There is talent there. There, there is some raw material there. That rawness is there. Um, they just have to, you know, evolve or or find ways of of making that uh, a little bit more robust, giving giving a little bit more of a mature experience as far as their songs are concerned. If we look at the first track ever that Mr. Ariolas told us to check out from uh, Mariana's Rest, that song was already more complete. Uh, yeah. At, at that time. Than, for example, what this song is now. I'm yeah. not. I'm not comparing the band sounds. I'm not comparing anything like that. I'm just. Com I'm just saying when you when you com when you compare when you he, have the he two didn't, bands in the same. He, he sentence, didn't compare the. He didn't compare the bands in terms of sound. He brought, them, he brought, he brought, brought them, them up in terms of the excitement that he had the first time he heard one, the first time he but heard then, the other. But, then, but now it's the first time us hearing that one and this hearing this one. And what I can say is that one felt more complete. Like a com complete you know, fully developed song. But that song was from their second record, if I'm not mistaken. I don't. I think this track might be from their debut album or something like that. I don't know. So that also plays a, a factor. Yeah, yeah. That also plays a factor. So I uh, I just think that it's... you got to be really careful when you say to people... Like when you when you try to sell somebody on the idea of checking out a band... I think By you have a band to be, that you've already introduced them to? Yeah, I think you have to be careful on how you word it and how you place it because it starts a certain level of expectations coming Look, in. Look, I really enjoyed the band you gave me last time. This needs to hit the same spot. No, or you can just say, hey, you know, like, uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm really excited about that's... this band. Just don't compare it to anything else. Just exactly. Just, just that's go what with that. that would be the recipient. Just go with that. It, it's like I get a lot of albums for review, and and sometimes when the bands are less known, not sometimes, all the times, all when times. the bands are not known at all, people, uh, the the labels, the PR, and whatever, they They're say like for fans of this band, this band, this band, this band, this band. And, and and I hate that because when I press play, it if it doesn't nothing sound like nothing like those bands, I'm like, what the and fuck? And most of the time it doesn't. And most of the times it doesn't. And when it does, it sounds like a very cheap copy of, of those one, other bands. And sometimes it doesn't even seem like the three bands that they've pulled together. No, but there's like a cheap copy of one of them. Yeah, it's like a cheap copy it's of like one of them. It's like a bad Xerox of one of them. Yeah. With with not enough toner. So I, I just don't like that kind of idea because without... It cheapens the band. It cheapens the... And it sets a certain level of... Of expectations, expectations coming in that then if you don't meet those expectations, regardless of how good it is, you feel a little bit uh, uh, cheated, if you will. Yeah. So uh, not that I feel cheated. No, I mean this was a great track to check out. I enjoyed it, uh, but I think there's there's room for growth. A lot of room for growth there. All right, we're good. Yeah. All right. On that note, guys, thank you very much. Thank you, Henry. We love you, boy. And uh, we'll hope to see you soon at Dark River Festival. Yeah. You know, we can make that festival. I was going to say we can make it great again, but it's great already. We it's made great it right great. now. We made it great. We made it great again, like before making things great again was cool. Exactly. Fuck, we were ahead of the curve. On that note, we hope to be back sometime soon. I really miss Finland. Same. Uh, I, we, we have to find a way of getting there. Um, so we'll hope to see you guys all in the next video. Until then. See ya. See ya.